Seminary of the Southwest is very fortunate to have a place in a state capital, in a state that borders Mexico, in a place with diverse languages, diverse industries, higher education, and it's a booming Texas city. That's a very interesting crucible in which to study for ministry and to study counseling and to be formed for leadership. What you will find if you come to the seminary is a strong sense of community. And that community is not thin, it's a deep sense of community. It's belonging, and it's a belonging with one another that allows learning and formation to happen because we build relationships of trust. What I found there in Austin was a really wonderful faculty that challenged us, that helped us to grow. I found a great group of colleagues and friends who have stayed with me throughout ministry. And I found a support system that has continued to follow me wherever I've gone. I chose Seminary of the Southwest because of the community. And that by far has been the best choice that I have made. I see us living into John Pine's vision, both inside this chapel and out in the world when what we preach about, what we talk about at lunch, what we bring to the classrooms, all of the concerns and cares and the joys of the world show up in this place. Knowing culture, understanding the real world beyond our doors, beyond our buildings, beyond our properties, connecting to people, connecting to the issues that impact people's lives. All of those things are very important in the formation of a clergy person. We're trying to form a whole person who can go out and, and be a leader and succeed in a certain kind of community building enterprise. So we pay close attention to uh, what we describe as the being, knowing, and doing formation of every student who comes through. That commitment to that whole person formation requires then that it's got to be a two-way street. It can't happen on one side and just be fed to the students. It takes students actively engaging and, and interacting with the faculty. We do some of our classes, we'll do like role plays where you will imagine these sort of intense moments of ministry and then we'll ask our students, now what tools are you going to grab? What tools are you going to grab to help this grieving parent? What tools are you going to grab to confront this political leader? And that's reaching for the wisdom that's ultimately the goal of theological formation the way we, the way we do it here. I think that gives us a, a capacious vision, a big vision of where we might find God. And when we bring that together with scripture and the tradition and various voices from history, we're able, I think, to produce some really creative readings of what God is up to, who God is, what God's done in the past, what might be possible in the future. And we have a faculty who wants to think creatively in that way. Uh, and I think it makes for a rich experience. The Seminary of the Southwest is, in every respect, an instrument of the Jesus movement. It is an instrument of that movement that makes Jesus Christ the center of our lives. And then it sends them out into the world to help others share and experience that Jesus at the center of life and that love as the very way of life. And that is a game changer. That changes lives and that changes the world.